I want to thank you for joining me today to celebrate some very noteworthy extracurricular achievements of our public high school students. It is great to see uh, so many of you in City Hall today, and it's good to be here with uh, Councilman Brandon Scott, who is a tremendous supporter of uh, Baltimore's youth. We don't spend enough time talking about the great things that our young people are doing in public schools. The students here today devote hours of time every day to hone their skills on the track, as well as on the court and at the podium. Standing in the rotunda with us today are, or well, sitting in the rotunda, now, when I call your name, I want you to raise your hand. Digital Harbors High Indoor Track Team. All right, we have representatives from Dunbar, Dunbar's Boys Varsity Basketball Team. Edmondson Westside Boys Varsity Basketball Team. And I know that we, were, we are waiting for uh, City College uh, debate team, correct? They're not here yet? All right, so they're not here yet. We also would like to acknowledge them. So you all come from different parts of the city, but you have one thing in common. You are all champions. All right, so at this point, I want to mention some of the teams individually to highlight some of your accomplishments. The Dunbar Poets have been the winning state basketball, uh, have have been winning state basketball championships for as long as anybody can remember. This year they won their fourth consecutive A1 state championship and they've won back-to-back -back city championships and they are ranked number one in the region. And the good news is, just like with our Orioles, most of the players will return next year and only two members of the team are graduating and going on to play in college. That means that there is a very good chance, I should say it's, we might as well call it a lock, that we will be celebrating another done, even though that's a, that's a jinx, right? So knock on wood. All right, we, the good chance that we will be celebrating another Dunbar basketball championship next year. I want to congratulate uh, Coach Cyrus Jones and Principal Kyles for supporting their students. Let's give them a big round. <laughs> All right, so Dunbar is not the only state championship basketball team. We also had championships in the Edmondson Westside Boys Varsity team. They won the 2A state championship and took home the Sportsmanship Award for the state. That's impressive. <laughs> Where is Coach uh, Danzler? Coach Danzler, Darnell Danzler, am I getting your name right? Did I mess it up? Good, good, good. Was named Coach of the Year. <laughs> Darius Walker was named First Team All Metro. Isaiah Tripp was named Second Team All Metro. Did I get that right? Yes, can we clap for them as well? I want to congratulate your principal, uh, Carl Perry, and the coach for having a great season this year. So this year, uh, Digital Harbor Indoor Track Team won their second consecutive uh, Baltimore City Indoor Track Championship. They followed up their win in the, in the city went by winning the state championship. We should celebrate runners George Blabinano, Blabiano, Blabiano. That's you? God bless you, thank you very much. <laughs> Do you have a nickname? No, I'm just uh, Quick Stooks. Where's Quick? All right, we're gonna say, when you get back, you'll tell them congratulations from me. Uh, they clock some of the fastest times in the state in a number of individual and relay uh, events, and they were named first team all Metro by the Baltimore Sun. Congratulations. <laughs> I want to congratulate your principal, Brian Iyer, and coach Mike Rose, coach uh, Utalo Bakari, and David Adams for supporting the athletes. Where are the coaches? <laughs> and
and thank you for bringing, uh, bringing back these championships and for bringing uh, pride to your school and for your community. And last but not least, I want to recognize, even though they have yet to arrive, the Baltimore City Speech and Debate Team. They are certainly shining examples of intellectual talent that exists in our city. They competed against teams from around Maryland and around the country. They traveled to the prestigious National Association of Urban Debate League Championship Tournament in Washington, and they won the contest, um, won the championship by beating the Whitney Young High School from Chicago. Uh, we should congratulate all of the members of the City High School Debate Team. All right, so each of you, through your determination and your hard work, have made us proud. It's an honor to celebrate with you today, and I certainly look forward to celebrating uh, more championships and more accomplishments in your very, very bright, uh, your very bright uh, future. I want to give Councilman uh, Brandon Scott an opportunity to make remarks, and then I would love to invite Mr. Edward Sparks, Executive Director of the Maryland uh, Public Secondary Schools Athletic Association, to make a presentation. Councilman. Good morning, everyone. We're gonna try that again. Good morning, everyone. Morning. All right, we're here to celebrate. I'll be real brief, but uh, Madam Mayor, it's actually odd for me from being on this side of the podium. I remember coming to these with uh, then Mayor O'Malley when I was a high school athlete at Mervo. But for you guys, uh, just to say that I'm very proud of each and every one of you, just know that being a champion, being a state champion, doesn't just mean that you're great at basketball. It doesn't just mean that you're great at track. It means that you're on the track to being great at life. The skills that you learn with your teammates, the skills that you learn honing your skills are the same skills that you're gonna need to be successful in life. And I'll just say this to you. Some, uh, my coach said this to me uh, when I was leaving Mervo and going, going away or getting ready to leave Mervo. He said, you guys have to remember, use track, don't let it use you. So use basketball, use track, use debate, whatever it is to get you to where, where you need to be because those skills are irreplaceable, but they'll carry you far in life. And then, Madam Mayor, I have to say this. If you haven't seen the Emerson buzzer beater on YouTube, you have to check it out. It's one of the best highlights I've ever seen. They actually won the state championship on a buzzer beater. Is the guy, young man, that hit the buzzer beater here today? Taking exams. Oh, he's taking exams. Well, that's where he should be. Yes, that's where he should be. But it is very awesome. It's a YouTube sensation. I know I've seen it on, what's the website called? World Star Hip Hop and all of that. So it's a great, great thing. But just again, I'm so proud of you guys, and I look forward to seeing you back here again next year. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you for letting us be a small part of this presentation. I'd just like to say that at the State Boys Basketball Tournament every year, we, uh, we award a sportsmanship award, and that award is really uh, based on the behavior of the coach, the behavior of the team, the cheerleaders, and the, and the student body. And this year's winner, and our chance to make the formal presentation, goes to Edmondson High School. And I'd like to ask, ask the principal, Mr. <laughs> Taylor, to come forward and accept this award on behalf of the school. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Nice going.